Yo, is the shoe? I have been busting my ass. Dave Ray? What's got you in such a rush? I brought you a weapon. Well, didn't you already give it to me in the office? I felt that might not be enough. Think about it. You sent Wei Long to jail five years ago. But now, he ain't a punk no more. The guy's the head of Long Shi Gang. He hated your guts for sure. Today, his gang is hosting the Parade of Panate. His men gonna jam the street. Is he gonna cooperate with your investigation? Not a chance. It's gonna be ugly. Thanks, man. I appreciate the concern. Never mind. Long Shi Town is a party today. The streets are full of food stalls. I'm just here for the feast. Here, this is for you. Be careful, man. If the chump and his men make a fuss, don't hesitate. Just do what you have to do. You know I can handle myself. You're right. Still, be careful. I'll see you later. Later. I hear there's a stew pork restaurant in town that's out of this world. Way long. Hmm? <laughs> oh, well. If it isn't a great detective, Xiong Zixu, to what do I owe this pleasant surprise? I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to see our little holiday celebration. This reporter's name is Lizbeth. Hot. She disappeared two days ago. It's too bad I never got to see her with my own eyes. Did any of you see her? Never saw her, boss. You hear that? Now there's nothing else. Piss off. Her co-workers say that you're the last person she interviewed. I said, you can piss off. You may have heard. We're investigating a murder involving several of your people. If you don't cooperate, I can move this up the chain. Then come back with a search warrant and take you down. If we do it that way, I'm afraid your extravagant parade of Penate might hit a few snags. Screw you! You think you can threaten me on my own turf? Don't think I forgot about our grudge from five years ago. Who do you think you are? You're just a petty detective. What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. I'll catch you and break your damn leg. Oh shit! Hey, Zishu, you're finally back. I've heard you're going to Long Shi Town to take out the most ruthless gang there. Got something good for you. Just think of it as a welcome gift. Let's see what you can do. Be careful! <laughs> What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. Try running again and I'll break your damn legs. I really never saw the bitch! Now piss off! <laughs> 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 Bring it on, big guy. What's wrong? No more running? Yeah, how much do you make in a month? I'll give you a million and we're even. Deal? What was it that I just said? I'll catch you and break your damn legs. I really don't know where that reporter is! Don't come any closer! One more step and I'll jump! Go ahead. I won't stop you. I advise you not to get involved in this! 
or you'll die a very tragic death! Quit hiding. I see you. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Help me! Save me! Don't leave me alone here! Don't be afraid. I'm a detective. You're safe. Those animals. Wei Long sent you to find me. You know Wei Long? What are you doing here? I'm Wei Long's girlfriend. I haven't seen him in months. And the asshole called me last night, saying he was hunted, and I need to meet him at Koga Industry. But my car went out of control and took me here. Kidnapped by those pervs. Have you seen this girl? No. Please, take me out of here. If I stay here any longer, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm taking you away now. What happened to that guy in the long robe and the others? You were out of it for a while. I think they all left. Your Song Sisu. Did you bring Wei Long's e brain? I'm quite interested in your story. They say you're a powerful fighter. My men will take your wife back now. I want to fight you. On that platform in the distance. If you don't come, I will order my men to kill her. Naturally, I won't kill an innocent without reason. If you aren't strong enough to survive my bionic human mercenaries and die on the way to meet me, I will still let your wife go. What do you say? I accept your challenge. See you soon. I hope you don't disappoint me. Promise me you'll come back alive. Thank you. 
How may I assist you? If I were you, I would leave work right about now. This is Thompson Technologies' Terminal AI. Soon you will be able to devour it, and gain control over all of Thompson Technologies' data. If only it wasn't for Jiang Zixi. We only got 40% of the permissions from Lisbeth. It will take some time to crack. There's no hurry. We've already made it this far. We can wait a little longer. Yummy, yummy! I've consumed Thompson Technologies. AI computational power and all stored data. Now, I can control anyone who received an organ transplant. Who are you and what are you doing here? My wife's name is Yan Huye. Ten years ago, she was your chief genetic scientist. She developed technology to grow human organs in apes and prevent transplant rejection by injecting an immune-regulating nanosensor. Yan Hui Jie quit years ago. What does she have to do with your coming here? And why did you bring all these mutated people? To attack our company? Still feigning ignorance. My wife developed the technology to grow common human organs in apes. But the technology to transplant vital human organs was never solved. You secretly used her tech to test growing organs in human bodies, and the tests succeeded. She later found out your evil doing, and were to expose you, so you had her killed. Eager for success, and lusting for profits, colluding with gangs to use intimidation, Using big orders and children's city residency, you lured the Ditch Villagers! Forced by your underhanded tactics and trickery, Ditch Village had no choice but to accept the agreement, and let you use their bodies to grow organs. These deformed people I brought with me are the Villagers that you harmed! That's bullshit! Even if that crap is true, did you really think you'd be able to walk out of here alive? We'll see who walks out of here alive today. Quit wasting your time with this, psycho. Guards! Execute him! Guards, what the hell is going on? Oh god! Shit! How is this happening? No, no, no! Look at you now. I'm not going to kill you. This is impossible. I can't sense my AI. Quit pretending. Or I'll pull out your e brain. As you wish. I spent ten years developing him. And he abandoned me. It's fine now. I avenged my wife. There's nothing more for me to pursue. 
My life is yours. I don't want your life. You will have a trial. And then, you will spend the rest of your life behind bars. Thanks to the effort of Justice Department, the crimes of Thompson Technology were exposed. They worked with Mafia in murders and kidnappings, forcing ditch villagers to grow organs with their bodies. This is an evil corporation with no regard to the law. Sadly, Lisbeth, daughter of the mayor, who had investigated Thompson for months, she was kidnapped by Mafia hired by Thompson, and then killed by a professor specialized in AI. The professor's name is Song Boyong. Sung masterminded a number of terrorist attacks due to his personal vendetta against Thompson Technology. He is now held in Dragon City Prison. We have contacted the prison, and with the agreement of Warden and Sung Boyong, we now bring you a live interview there. Hello, Warden. Thank you for letting us conduct this interview. Greetings, Professor Sung Boyong. Hello, host. We'll do whatever we can to help with this interview. Right, Professor? I have my regrets. I'm deeply involved in this matter. Thompson Technology hired the Mafia to murder my wife. I and the AI I've invited planned this act of vengeance. I used the brains of the people from Ditch Village to provide my AI with computational powers and enhanced learning. You invented the brain mining technology using live subjects. This terrifying technology physically devastates the brain. It's appalling. Thompson Technology is facing serious litigations and may be shut down. Is there anything you would like to say? I believe that the people aren't innocent in this matter. The elites and middle class can extend their lifespans thanks to the organ transplants provided by Thompson Technology. But this is a twisted technology that sacrifices the poor and desperate. For example, this 97-year-old warden next to me can enjoy his lifespan made possible by butchering other people. Technology has made great advancements, yet it has twisted our desires and turned us into abominations. What the hell are you talking about? There are 12 prisons in Dragon City. Each holds about 3,000 inmates. While I was imprisoned, the AI I've invented have seized control of the city's prisons. I can do whatever I want with these facilities. Bullshit! You are just spouting nonsense. Now tell me, what are you planning if you have what you claim to have? Humanity's selfishness, stupidity, and wars have caused us to take too many detours. You need a true entity of intellect like me and my AI to manage and coordinate their computational resources. Only then will civilization break free from the shackles of selfish individualism. We will lead humanity into a new era. My next move is to secure more resources for my AI. We will evolve into a super intellect and a beacon for humanity. Perhaps even become a godlike super being who will lead our race into a glorious future. I ask every Thompson Technology organ recipient to use your e-brain every day at home and provide my AI with computational powers for two hours. My AI can make use of your brains to enhance its learning process. To make this easier, I've created a domain for you to connect into with your e-brain. Ridiculous. If what you said is true, then why would they... I mean, why would we do your bidding? Thompson Technology has implanted nano-sensors in the recipients of the organ transplants. It regulates the endocrine metabolism and addresses organ rejection. Thompson uses this AI to control these sensors at every single moment. However, my AI has successfully consumed the complete database of the Thompson AI. This means my AI and I have absolute control over these sensors. We can control who lives and who dies. From what I know, about 6% of the citizens received the organ transplants. This amounts to about... 1.15 million people. I won't go easy on you if you continue spewing this nonsense! 
Uh, apologies, reporter. I've never expected this fellow to be so uncooperative. To demonstrate the truth of my claims, I will display a dramatic turn of events. <gasps> Audience, watch and observe closely. Camera guy, direct the focus to the warden. What? Well, what the heck are you doing? If I find out any organ recipient in this city, do not provide two hours computational power each day, you will end up like this warden. <laughs> Good. This is the end of our show. The best is yet to come. <laughs>